Hello and welcome everyone. Today I am actually building this very cool looking kit. This is actually a very old kit back all the way from 2011 from Bandai. It's quite surprising when I actually first saw this kit. I don't know why I don't usually buy SD kits, but when I first saw this box, the box art looks amazing and I knew I had to get it. And this is actually a 2011 kit from Bandai, which was actually quite surprised. They actually reproduced the box with the brand new blue color logo from Bandai, you know. Usually all the uh, reissue box still have the red color Bandai logo, but surprise, surprise, they decided to uh, go with the blue logo, right? So the box art itself is actually quite unique. You don't see a lot of new SD kits with this kind of box art. It does look like almost a master grade kind of like a box art design. So that was actually quite interesting. So for all of you who are joining us today, you know, please sound off, let me know where you guys are coming from, which country you're from. I'm very happy to have you guys here supporting me. So it's it's a very casual build session, you know, ask me anything, uh, but I would love to hear where you guys are from. Now, one of the interesting about this kit was the manual, right? If you look at the manual, it's actually a rectangular size instead of the usual, uh, almost like a normal A4 paper size. So this was something that I actually am not used to seeing, you know, it looks like almost like a wine menu you see in restaurants. So this actually was quite interesting. Never thought I'd see a menu like this in a SD Gundam kit. So it's a fairly simple kit. I think we should be able to finish this whole kit in 30 minutes or less. Uh, I probably won't do better lining, not to bore you guys. But as you can see here, even in the manual itself, it's actually very nice. I, I don't recall seeing such a nice printed manual, especially for a SD kit. Very surprised, right? Very surprised. So yeah, back an old 2011 SD kit, the manual are still in Japanese, it's not like the new ones where they're actually in English now. Hello, um, fans from Indonesia and also Malaysia. Feel free to ask me anything you want. Um, but first and foremost, I would love to hear from you guys what you guys are building in this lockdown area. Let me know what you guys are building so far. Um, of course, yesterday we shared a video of the new Mechanics Gundam, Unicorn Gundam, sorry. Um, I'm also wondering how many of you are actually planning to buy that, right? So I'm using a Keroro God Hand Nipper. Nothing too fancy. I think it's good enough for this build. Um, yeah, so we'd really love to hear from you guys if you guys are actually buying that kit because that Ultimate Mechanics Unicorn Gundam is definitely not cheap, right? It's um, 20, 25,700 yen. So it's quite unique though. I mean, we've, we've been getting teasers from Bandai for two plus years since we first saw the prototype. So just kind of glad that we're finally getting to see that actual product out. And wondering whether Bandai will actually do a lot of um, other variations of the ultimate mechanics, given that it will be quite boring if it's just a unicorn under that line, right? Yes, I know it's late, it's midnight in Malaysia or this part of the world. Um, maybe the guys from the other part of the world, like the States, is just waking up. So you'll be good to see how everyone is all about. So for those of you who are just joining us, right, do sound off which country you're from. Now, what was the other interesting part was why I actually bought this kit, right? Um, apart from the beautiful box art design, right, as you can see here, when I actually opened this box and look at the runner, my son and Big Pete, when we saw the colors, it was actually quite vibrant. It's um, more vibrant than usual, not the usual vibrant blue. And also, this is a different tinge of yellow that we've seen before. So when I first saw this, I'm like, yeah, you know, the box art looks great. The colors of the parts looks amazing. I'm just going to grab it. It looks like a very simple but cool looking kit for me to build. And that's the reason why I actually bought this kit. Okay, so uh, I won't be replying in the chat because obviously I'm all alone. I have to be building the kit. I can't be typing on the keyboard as I am building. So I will try to um, talk to you guys as much as I can on the chat panel via um, me talking all alone, monologuing, right? Um, yeah, great to see all of you guys coming in here. Us... Aisaka saying it's 270,000 yen, it's P Bandai yen. You still need to have a gacha to, to 
fully unlock its potential, which I quite agree, right? Uh, one of the members sounded off during the uh, the video yesterday, and he did mention something that which I don't know why I did not pick this up. But if you really look into the gimmick of the um, Ultimate Mechanics Unicorn Gundam being able to actually, um, how do you say, deploy the Gashapon balls, it kind of reminds me of the um, the Bidaman kits, which was quite true. Uh, if you guys are old enough, but actually Bandai has just reissued that entire series, the Bidaman uh, toys. Have you guys seen those before? Where you actually punch out those uh, bottle caps and whatnot. So yeah, that was actually quite an interesting um, comparison. I'm not going to put on the decals because uh, I'm quite slow in doing decals. So one is done. At least I got a hit. Um, yeah, so that was actually quite interesting. Uh, for those of you who are new to our channel, obviously, you know, if you love what we are putting out, do subscribe and also give us a thumbs up. B2. Yeah, it's actually been a while since I've actually built any kit. So maybe doing live build is a way for me to actually, uh, you know, clear my backlog. Surprisingly, it actually comes with a clear display stand. Well, it was actually quite interesting right um yeah the other for those of you who just joined i would also love to hear from you guys what have you been building lately i mean uh 2020 and 2021 i do feel like it's going to be periods of lockdown i i think even with the uh, vaccination rollout in place we will still be stuck at home for a while i believe um so i think 2021 is going to be a good year just like 2020 for us to clear our backlog too. Uh, so in terms of backlog, I do have quite a lot to be very frank here. Okay, and the VFIN. One of the things that I love about the um, SD Gundam is how big this VFIN is. It's almost so big, it's comical and ridiculous. If I'm going to show this to you afterwards. Yeah. yeah. So if you look at the um, old 2011 SD Gundam kits, the gears itself, yeah, it's, there's not much spacing between the um, the gates and the, um, the actual part itself. So you have to really cut it quite close to the part, unfortunately. There's not really any leeway between the parts and the um, gate itself. So that was actually quite interesting. Okay, let me put on the beef in. Effortless. I will clear the nubs as and when I'm done. I hope the audio is all good. Sounds clear. Okay. Is there any news? Tommy Gunawan from Indonesia just asked a question. Are there any news on the next MGEX? Well, that's actually quite interesting. Um, no news yet so far. I think Bandai will probably take a year plus to release the next one. If you ask me, frankly, how well is the MGEX doing in the market? I think they are definitely big fans of the Unicorn Gundam, but given the price range of the MGEX and how close it is to the perfect grade, I'm going to be very honest here. I think a lot of people are actually opting to buy the um, perfect grade for now because to be very frank, you're definitely getting a lot more for your money with the perfect grid for sure. But um, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm, it's taking me a while because I need to talk to you guys at the same time. I'm trying to find the bloody parts on the uh, the runners itself. So yeah, I, I do think that the MGEX is an amazing piece of kit. You know, there's it's probably one of the better and master grade kits in the market today, but Given that the press is so very close to the perfect grade unleash, I think most of the folks are probably buying the perfect grade for now and opting to actually, you know, buy the MGX on a later date. But that again, that's just uh, me, right? So, yeah. So, uh, the other thing that I want to talk about today is really to check how is everybody doing now, right? Given that we are living in quite an interesting time in our lives, uh, you know, it's important that we are taking care of our friends and family, but I think it's also quite important to take note 
and take good care of yourself as well. So that's what we are talking about in terms of self-care. I think self-care is very important. So don't forget to take some time out for yourself. You know, go and uh, walk in the park, read some books, build gun plot. Have some time to take care of your own mental and physical health. And that comes to my next point as well, right? I think in terms of um, physical health, my physical health has actually gone down the drain because to be very frank, everybody is working from home nowadays, right? And when you're working from home nowadays, you're spending like what? Five, six hours every single day just on um, conference calls. So I've been sitting down quite a lot instead of moving about as I usually do. And I, I do feel that uh, physically, my, my physical health has somewhat gone down the drain as well. So I should probably do a lot more exercises inside uh, my own home as well. But yeah, I think everybody do remember self-care, take care of yourself. Don't forget to take good care of yourself, self-care, uh, instead of just taking care of your friends and family in need, okay? This is this part here, A22, 23, and 24, okay? Let me look at the chat, what else is new? Okay. The helpful hero, greetings, working on the white command wolf from Kotobukiya myself. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, which, which comes to my next question, right? What else is... What else are you guys building other than Gunpla? I mean, obviously you can't be building Gunplas, you know, um, all the time because you will get bored by the same frames, the same designs over and over again if you keep building the same uh, protagonist suits. So I'm actually quite interested to hear what are you guys building other than just uh, Plamo kits. So do sound off in the comments section below. Let me see this. Okay. Hope you guys can see the kit. Yeah. So if you're wondering what am I using for this live stream, well, I'm actually using a Yeti Blue mic. That is what I'm using to record this live stream at this moment. And as for the camera, I'm actually using a uh, full HD Logitech camera. So I hope the images is sharp and my audio is clear. Okay. Nike six two nine. Hello. How are you guys? Hope you are doing well on this part of the world. Uh, Asegawa Radical Zapper Temjin. PGU is definitely a better buy than MGX2. Okay. Yes. There you go. This is done. PCD. And this is A218. A218. So, uh, the other question I want to ask everybody here today is also, what else is going on in your respective country. Um, I While I do try to follow as much current and world affairs uh, you know, around the world on the internet, but there does seem to be quite a lot of things happening around the world. So uh, are there anything interesting happening you know, in your parts of the world that others would probably need to know or hear about? So do sound off in the comments section below. So thank you everyone who is new, just joined to this live stream. It's a very casual hangout live built by me. It's been a while. I'm a bit rusty in building Gunpla kits as well. So do feel free to ask me anything or anybody else in the chat session or what everybody is up to. Okay. Now this particular part is kind of hard to put in because, yes, there you go. Snap it in. There you go. Um, yeah, I think for me personally, I obviously have been also been trying to catch up as much, uh, you know, world fan news as much as I can. Uh, but the other thing that was quite interesting was I've actually been watching hell of a lot of Netflix. And I think most of you probably do as well. So if you're wondering, you know, what shows I've been watching, I think uh, I'm not going to tell you some of the, you know, common popular movies. But the ones that I think you should definitely check out are three shows that I've just watched. These three shows... It's the first one is actually the one that's just recently been released by Netflix, and that is White Tiger. It's based off a book, which was quite a interesting rags to richer story in India. It's quite quite, quite um, I would say that it's quite a gripping drama. Uh, when I watched it, I was really absorbed, and I watched through the entire movie in one sitting. So yeah, 
you should definitely check out White Tiger. And the other movie that I think you guys should also check out, at first I thought it was a drama, and that is actually I'm Thinking of Ending Things. That movie is also based on a very popular book, but that movie actually caught me by surprise because I thought it was going to be like a romance, romance, drama kind of a movie, but it turns out it is actually a horror movie. You really definitely have to watch it in one sitting. And that movie, it's it's not, it's a bit of a mind fuck as well, uh, pardon my language, but you, you definitely have to see that movie uh, twice. That's all I'm going to say, right? I'm not going to try to spoil that, that movie too much for you guys here, but definitely go and check out I'm Thinking of Ending Things. The third movie that I would recommend for you guys on uh, Netflix is this movie called Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Uh, yeah, it's you probably wouldn't see that movie popping up in the recommendations engine by um, Netflix, but that movie it actually starred um, that guy from Black Panther. I think it's one of his last movie that he made. It's actually quite a lot of... Um, good scenes where he was, you know, really playing that character, expressing his frustrations very, very well. It, 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 it is a drama, um, but also somewhat steep in American culture history as well. So go and check out that movie too. Okay, A19, A20. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's also quite interesting and refreshing to build as the kids once in a while, because you know, if you're building high grade and master grade kids uh, all the time, you don't have a different build experience versus something like a SD kit. So sometimes I do buy old classic kits like this. You know, it's quite a refreshing build experience for me at least. Okay, it looks like we are done with one page. Only a few more pages to go. Just very very quickly, 18, 15, and eight. Okay. Um, the other thing that I am actually planning to do this year is actually finally setting up my airbrush station. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's, um, I think even though we've been staying at home every day because of the, you know, entire lockdown, um, I actually don't have much time to clean up my house as what I thought I was going to do, frankly. Uh, because you spend so much time looking in front of a computer. So, yeah. Unfortunately, you spend much so much time on uh, video calls. You actually get a lot more tired quicker as well. So, that, that, that is the only downside of uh, working from home after a long, long period. Let me see how do I actually do this. It's quite weird. How do I actually put it in? Oh, okay. There you go. This is the feet. Okay. Uh, Gary Tanu Setiawan, the last movie he watched, or series he watched, is The Queen's Gambit. I am going to watch The Queen's Gambit 2 very, very soon. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have that much time um, what to watch Netflix and also to... Um, make videos and that's also one of the reasons why you are not seeing a lot of new videos coming out from us lately because to be very frank i actually have been um, playing ps4 games quite a lot uh, one of the games that i have been playing heavily for the last couple of um, days was actually shadows of the tomb raider so i'm gonna be very very um honest and upfront here right i have actually never liked Tomb Raider. Um, it was only recently, I think with this entire new reboot, uh, the game itself is so much better. And the character as well, it's not as corny or as cheesy as what we have gotten to see or use before. So let me try and put this in, sorry. Ah, okay, it's at the bottom. This is the shoulder armor. Okay, shoulder armor. That was quite interesting. Let me check out the. Let me check out the uh, chat here. Uh, so for those of you who don't understand English, hey, uh, feel free to speak Malay as well. I can speak a little bit of Bahasa, not too bad. So do, feel free to ask me questions in Bahasa. I will answer you in Bahasa as well. Okay. 
Queen's Gambit, Helpful Hero, yes. Okay. Yeah. There's actually quite a lot of movies that I want to watch on Netflix, but time between um, you know producing movies for the channel and also watching Netflix and also playing games, it's it's hard, right? Uh, especially when you have a full-time day job. So no, uh, Awesome Toys TV is not our full-time day job. We do have our separate full-time day job as well. So yeah, it's kind of hard to juggle so many different things all at once. How do I actually put this in here? <laughs> Dante time, do you have Unify get Android TV? Oh, great. Uh, I have some fans from Philippines as well. Hello, Ivan Perez. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Only it's true. Is it worth to buy the Master Grade Gunner Base kits? Yes. Um, yeah, okay, so for uh, Gary Tanus one, what is the latest kit that I've bought? I think apart from this guy, right, apart from this very beautiful box art, the SD Wing Gundam, I actually also bought this kit. I don't mind showing this with you guys. Ta -da -da! For Mina Hoshino. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do this live build in the next uh, live stream. Okay. I have actually not been buying a lot of kits to be very frank. I, and I think probably some of you are on the same boat as me as well, given that you know we most of Kampla builders that I know of, I think regardless of which part of the world you are, you definitely would have a lot of backlogs. And I think I'm probably not alone, right? So I'm trying to clear as much backlog as possible before I actually move on into buying more new kits. And um I'm actually buying more um, other kits other than Gunpla 2. So just, just to get a different experience in terms of building something other than Gunpla, right? Because as I mentioned before, if you keep building the same mobile suits, same designs, you're going to get bored very, very quickly. Okay, let me put this in. There you go. Come and put it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, PCF. Mercenary BDU here from the States. Hello, viewers from the US. How's everything in US? Okay, look at that. Got this. B16. 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 This is actually a lot harder than I imagined. I actually thought that, you know, it would be easy to do a live stream all on my own and at the same time, you know, talk to you guys um, while I'm trying to look at the parts to build and looking for the parts on the runner. It's actually quite challenging. Okay, I learned something new today. But thankfully, this is a SD kit. So this session won't be that long. Otherwise, you're going to get bored with me talking all on my own A17. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And one of the reasons why it's taking me a bit longer is because I don't build that many SD kits, right? So I'm not really familiar with how certain parts go with some other parts. So it is a very refreshing build, even though this kit is old. Uh, for those of you who joined us today, as I mentioned, right, if you look at the vibrant colors of the blue and the orange, I don't think the camera is really doing very good representations. Maybe let me change the colors of the light. Yeah, it's actually very vibrant, much more vibrant than what you're seeing on the screen. So if you get to see this kit in your local hobby store, do definitely go and check it out, right? I'm not getting paid for this review, but yeah, this is actually quite an interesting kit to build. Let me check it out. Uh, Put this in place. I think I got this backwards. Some of you guys, as I see from Axis in Nation, you're still waiting for the new MGX kit. I think MGEX it's should be easily available. I would 
imagine, to be very frank, I don't think the MGX kit are exactly, you know, flying off the shelf. Uh, but then again, that's, that's just me, right? Hmm, that's strange. Why oh, is this not fitting in here? What am I doing wrong? Maybe I got this wrong this way. <laughs> this is weird. I'm going to come back to this shortly. Let me get this right. A114 and A9. Yeah. And also, obviously, you know, in terms of... Um, making videos on the channel making videos for youtube it's definitely very very time consuming uh as you have probably noticed we have uh you know do a lot more videos based on tech based on um watches so it's it's at least for us it's fun not to just stick on one topic i i guess all right so do let me know what you guys want to watch on our channel in the future. Trying to build as much as I can, but the gates on these old kits are not that great. So there will be some nut marks when this kit is finished. That's for sure. Okay. But we should be done fairly soon. That is what I think at least. Okay, A19. Yeah, I think the, the biggest price for this kit was actually the inclusion of the display stand. One more a, a clear display stand, as you can see here. Right? So, yeah. I, I kind of miss how Bandai used to produce kits in the old days, right? If you guys remember, for those of you who are old enough to remember, or if you have bought some of the older Master Grade kits, you would remember that uh, older musket master grade kits actually comes with a very nice printed cover photo right i'm not sure how many of you uh, remember that but but yeah i really miss how great kits look like in the past compared to what we see here nowadays let me put this in da, da, da. okay B221, B221, okay, gotcha, yeah. So definitely, I think in terms of um, the way Banda is producing yeah, the kids today, definitely feels a lot different, especially in terms of the, uh, the box size packaging. It's definitely longer instead of bigger. So some people may not like it, some are, but you, def you know, definitely dig it, so yeah. There we go. Shoulder armor one. Where is the other shoulder armor? Shoulder armor two. There you go. This two is done. It is the arm that I'm actually having some issues because I, maybe it's my eyesight, but I can't see very, very well. Okay. Oh, yeah. The uh, MG Dome is released in Japan as we speak. What was interesting was, uh, you know, just I would say um, months before the kit was announced, so sorry, I mean weeks before the new Master Grid Dome was announced, suddenly the Japan outlets were flooded with the old Master Grid Dome kits. And what was surprising was when the old Master Grid Dome kits came out, quite a lot of the Japanese builders actually went to snap up the old Master Grid Dome instead of the new Master Grid Dome, which, which I... I thought it was quite a interesting um, news to me. Obviously, because, you know, why, why would they want to buy an old kit versus the new Master Grade kit? So, surprisingly, the reason was there were actually some fears in terms of, you know, um, when, the, um, when the kids actually go out of stock. So, they were actually worried that they may not be able to buy the older style Master Grid Dome once the new one is out, which is kind of true. I think in a way, because Bandai sometimes don't 
takes take their sweet time to reissue the older kits. At least that, that's what the speculation is in the market. So yeah, that's, that's actually something that's quite interesting to me at least. All right. So the Master Grade Dome should be in your market very soon. Obviously, once it reaches your market, I think there will probably be in, in um, next month or two. Given how most markets today are getting some setbacks in terms of delivery, right? And I, I think it's no coincidence. I think because of the pandemic, a lot of ports are struggling to cope with the high amount of um, containers and also in terms of getting the stock to retail because some retail outlets are you know locked down so they can actually process the orders so yeah those are just some of the interesting things that we have seen the video okay let me look at the chat let me see there's quite a lot of chats happening in there i think you guys can chat with each other as i'm trying to build and also chat with you guys at the same time i'm trying to find the bloody parts so it's going to be a mess from my end okay there you go Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I missed this step. There you go, got this right. Very, very quickly. There will be some nut marks. I'm not gonna do some panel lining in this video because if I do that, this video is gonna be way too long, right? I don't think you guys wanna see me building a kit for more than one hour or so, yeah. Okay. Some other things that I, of course, wanna talk about is my other big passion and that is uh, video gaming. Obviously, right now, I am actually wondering how many of you have actually bought the PS4 or the Xbox. So, yeah, sound off in the comment section below. I've seen some um, latest videos, right, of the uh, Japanese fans trying to get their hands on the console. There's actually a lot of long lines. There are no social distancing as well. So, yeah, I think Sony... PS5 is definitely looks like it's going to lead the console wars again, if you ask me, right? Um, but I'm actually leaning more towards to the Xbox this time around. Obviously, with the uh, the Game Pass, right? Being able to play any games you want just for a flat fee. It's becoming more like a software as a service model. So the console itself doesn't seem to really matter that much. So yeah, I, I could be wrong. Okay, mercenary BDU still raging over the lack of reprinting of the Master H1 normals, and yes, it just is just what I've been saying, right? Bandai to do take their sweet time to reproduce older kids, and I think that that's a good reason for that, right? If you look at some of the um, business news portal in Japan, Bandai is at the moment, from what we know, they are definitely unable to cope with the high demand for their plant model kits. I mean, that's the reason why they actually opened up, uh, you know, factory in Yokohama. There's a new factory. So they have more lines to actually churn out more models. And we do know that the most popular kits by Bandai are not the master grade kits, right? It is actually the high grade kits. So that is one of the reasons why in the last couple of years, you have seen a very big decline in terms of master grade kits. Okay, because they know that master grade kits, while they are popular, they don't sell as many units as the high grade kits. And that's the reason why you are getting a lot more normal high grade kits versus master grade kits, right? You, we, we are definitely seeing a, a resurgence in terms of, sorry, not resurgence, but definitely seeing an increase in terms of premium Bandai versus normal kits, right? Uh, the reason why Bandai is focusing a lot more on hybrid kits, uh, especially in the last few years, with the entire Gundam build divers, re-rise and whatnot, it is because those kits from the anime itself cost somewhat between in the 2,000 to 3,000 plus yen range. And that, unfortunately, are the most popular kits uh, that Bandai sells and that is the reason why they are selling a lot more producing a lot more high-grade kits SD kits because that that's what they think 
uh, it's going to sell a lot more based on the data that they have. So that is an unfortunate part for us hardcore collectors. Uh, I think most of the old timers have already moved on. Uh, you know, instead of us waiting on for Bandai to actually produce Gunpla kits that they want, but because Bandai is, are not producing those kits or models that they want, uh, most of us have actually moved on to buying and also building other kits like, uh, you know, Hexagear, Korobukiya, and also, you know, things like Scoop Dogs and Yamato kits as well. But that is just what I think is happening in the market. Obviously, I could be wrong, but, you know, do let me know if you guys feel the same. I think everybody is still waiting for the, um, the uh, what you call it, there was this one series that we didn't get a Master Grid release. What is that again? Just let me think about it. It's kind of hard to talk and build at the same time. But we have finished one to two runner very, very soon. We're almost done with the feet. We're building the feet at the moment. All right. Surprisingly quite, yeah, quite detailed for this price. Yeah. So uh, the other thing that I want I would love to ask you guys is, you know, when you guys are building Gunpla kits, what do you guys do when you are building Gunpla kits? Do you guys have, uh, you know, like YouTube turn on watching YouTube um, Gundam anime, or do you turn on just watching music, or do you actually tune into a session like this and you know chat and build at the same time? So that is something that I would love to hear from you guys in terms of what you do. So, okay, we got the fit all done. And obviously with the new SDCS, uh, given that is the price range that Bandai is focusing on, uh, I think you definitely see a lot more SDCS kits, high-grade kits, and not so much on normal master-grade kits for the next 12 months. And of course, it's gonna be a lot more perfect-grade kits Sorry, not perfect great premium Bandai case in 2021. That's this is what I think is gonna happen, right? Uh Winter Wonderfest is supposed to take place very soon in Japan. So I do think that Bandai probably have something new up their sleeve, which we will get to see. Okay. There you go. Got the feet. So we got a feet. Hope you guys can see it. Feet. The arms and the shoulder armor. Okay. I hope the camera angle is okay. Oh, Mercenary BDU. You got a Switch and a new 3DS. Yeah, I also got a Switch recently as well. But yeah, not been really playing too much with it. More on PS4, which is surprising. Okay. Seeing the 1800 Aisaka say that, you know, while seeing the risk of how many hybrid kits they produce per year, they will probably run out in designs in two to three years. I don't think so because there's always so many new rehash and redesigns coming out by Bandai. So, yeah, maybe one day, you know, Katoki is going to create some hybrid line kits. Who knows, right? Who knows? Okay. There you go. No more polycaps. It looks like I'm almost done. Just, just uh, painting the wing. And the skirting. Oh yeah, um, the other question that I had, which no one answered in the chat was, will you be buying the Ultimate Mechanics Unicorn Gundam self-transforming bus? That is what I would love to hear from you guys. That is something new, right? It's, it's definitely a very unique product. Um, but yeah, I think so far, the uh, response has been a bit mixed, I would say. But given how, you know, just like remember when Bandai first announced the metal structure, new Gundam, everybody was complaining, wow, the price is crazy. It's, it's astronomical. Who will pay for something like that? That's not a model kit. But in the end, you know, the entire product range sold out fairly quickly too. So yeah, I, I, I do think that that product will sell very well. But given how it's still a long way to go anyways, you know, I think the product is only going to be released by December uh, 2021 anyway. So 
if you're not planning to get it, maybe there's still time for you to actually save up for it. Where is this anyways? A222, A222. We only got like two runners left. Should be done very quickly. But uh, are there anything that you guys want to ask me in terms of what's happening over in Malaysia? Or, you know, what's happening on our channel? My health? I would love to hear uh, you guys from me as well. Yes, Master Grade H2, sorry, H3 is something that everybody is waiting for as well. I do agree. But I think Bandai sometimes like to just, you know, uh, tease us in terms of what they want to do with what they are actually able to produce. So there's definitely a lot of um, mobile suits that has yet to get a master grade treatment. And sometimes I do think that in a way, maybe that's good, I guess. Um, given how, you know, with the, with the advancement of the... Uh, technology in terms of making plum model kits like this, right? The master grade kits that's coming out later definitely will have better, you know, smaller gates that's easier to cut, more details. If they can make so much detail into those Star Wars plum model kit, why can't they do the same for Gunpla, to be a friend? And I think they can definitely do so, right? Yes, uh, one 800 Isaka just mentioned that it is pricier than the Gundarium Alloy RS-78 I agree, but I think people who buy the Gundarium Alloy RS-78 probably will not be building a kit and just keep it just for collection's sake, if you ask me, okay? So, the torso is done, right? These are the old classic SD kits torso, as you can see here, all right? Just let me put it slightly in. Very basic, not a lot of articulation, but yeah, I'm actually quite surprised in terms of how much detail this kit has. And as I mentioned before, for those of you who just joined the um, the chan this 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 live build a bit late, this kit, the colors definitely look very vibrant. I'll clean up the knobs later, right? It definitely looked very vibrant. I'm just gonna build the. Uh, there you go, looks really good. Not too bad for an SD kit, right? Almost done. Just one last page to go. Okay, just building the wing right now. And the uh, rifle. Yeah. B214. B214. Yeah. Uh, what are the, the problem with building Gunpla? Uh, at least for me, you know, as you grow with age, your eyesight do get worse and worse. Uh, one of the tips that most of the older Gunpla builders has been telling me, you know, get a magnifying glass because it definitely helps to lessen the stress of the eye looking at those small printed manual and also sometimes the instruction uh, in terms of how you want to snap fit certain parts together. Like for example here, I'm actually having trouble to see right now already. So yeah, I'm just getting on with age. Maybe I'm still in denial in terms of um, wearing glasses and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so as I was saying just now, yes, this kit may be old, 2011 SD Wing Gundam, but the colors of the parts surprisingly looks very, very vibrant. Yeah. So hopefully, um, the other thing I'm planning to do this year is of course to do a lot more video interview. Given that this year as well, I think most Gunpla builders are stuck at home. So I've actually reached out to one pro model builder in Indonesia, in Singapore, and hopefully I'll reach out to one in Thai soon as well, just to hear them out, right? Just to see what everybody is up to. So there you go. Da -da -da -da. What is what we're going to okay, do this one first. A12. Last few runners, I'm almost done. A12, A12, there you go. Awesome Toys, is Flame Toys brand a bootleg product for Transformers or not? Because Hasbro is one of the ones making Transformers figures. It's from Ivan or Ivan Perez. Um, so just to let you guys know, Flame Toys is actually a designer and also manufacturer of plum model kits for Transformers. And they are actually a legit Hasbro sanctioned 
manufacturer for Transformers uh, model kit. So for those of you who don't know, at this in this part of the world, in uh, you know Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, and I, I'm sure like countries like Taiwan, and it's starting to go into Japan as well, Flame Toys Transformers kits are actually widely available in a lot of the um, the stores, most of the Gunpla stores. You will actually be able to see a Flame Toys Transformers motor kit. So they are legit. I will highly recommend getting the kit because we have actually um, reviewed the Optimus Prime IDW version before. And in terms of articulation, to be very frank, they are actually pretty good. There's actually some innovative engineering over there. The only thing that I wish that they kind of did was in terms of the size. So their kits are a little bit smaller compared to the um, typical master grade or high grade kits that we have get got to know and you know built before. So you might not like the size, but in terms of uh, details and also articulation, yeah, it's yeah, and actually pretty good to be very frank. Okay, wait, let me put this out. This part personally is quite tricky. There we go. Let's put this in first. Then put this in. A113. I'm almost done, guys. Almost done. Hang in there. Almost done. Thank you so much for joining this chat. I, I know it's late in this part of the world in Southeast Asia, but for the others who have just woken up in the um, Western Hemisphere, thank you for joining. Good morning. Let me see what else is happening here. Online Gunplot Expo kits. Yes. Uh, I think last year, Towards the end of Q4 and also Q3, um, this part of the world, right? We were typically expecting to get the Gunpla Expo or GBWC Expo. Unfortunately, with the entire issue with the pandemic, we actually, I guess in a way it's lucky because instead of, uh, you know, where you actually had to go and fight with so many people to get those kits, during the event, and it's always sold up because there's always some scalpers getting the entire stock uh, as much as they can. What was surprising was being able to actually buy the Expo kits online. So I was actually very happy to be able to buy uh, some of the Expo kits in Malaysia <coughs> instead of having to join the lines to buy the product. Yeah, quite a lot of details on the actual wing itself. Not too bad, not too shabby. Okay, we're almost done for the wink. Just need to put on the deck house, but I'm going to do that. It's going to take me a long while. So I'm just going to put this here. I hope it's right. Yeah. There you go. Almost done. Looks all right, actually. Yeah, not too bad. I just need to penalize it. Maybe put on the deck house or maybe not. It looks pretty good, yeah. So yes, uh, coming back to the Flame Toys Transformers line, I will highly recommend getting their product. Obviously, Flame Toys do not only make uh, model kits; they also produce those ready-made figures like um, the Hito Karakuri Transformers line as well. Those are really expensive, but it's well worth the money because those looks amazing. It comes with die cast, it comes with LED as well. So Definitely worth checking it out if you're a big Transformers fan. I, I am glad in the way that I'm not a very big Transformers fan because I think Transformers in terms of the available characters that you can collect, it is almost as big as um, Gundam as well. So I, I can't imagine how many <laughs> uh, Transformers I can actually collect if I'm actually really into Transformers. So... For those of you who have been with us for a long time, you will know that on my channel, when I'm doing my monologue, when I'm doing my explanation, I tend to use the word actually way too much. So thank you guys for reminding me on that as well. Yeah. Um, if you can see the cutting mat I'm using here, this is actually a A2 cutting mat from Hobby Mio. So it's actually not common to get such a big size uh, cutting mat. It's actually quite nice to have a big working space protect the table so if you guys can actually find one i would highly recommend getting one 
Let me see how we actually do this. This, this is the trigger. Where's the trigger? I cut it out just now. Where's the trigger? There you go. I forgot to cut it out. There you go. And one last piece. Looks like I am almost done. The only disappointing piece about the older SD kits are the lack of clear parts, right? We, I mean, we did actually get a clear part for the display stand, but there is actually no clear part for the eyes or even the uh, scope for the rifle, nothing. So th that is the only unfortunate part with the old Gunpla kits. I think in order for them to keep the cost low, yeah, that, that was the reason why, right? We are almost done. There's just three more final parts to go off. Okay. Beyblade story. Ivan Perez just asked me another question. Uh, there are Beyblade toys that are recopying the rest of Takara Tommy Beyblades. They call them flame toys too. Um, I think probably the same, just a coincidence in terms of uh, company name, I suppose, right? But that in terms of flame toys Hong Kong, uh, they are actually in affiliation with uh, Sentinels Japan, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Sentinels is helping them to distribute the product in Japan. But Flame Toys Hong Kong itself, the one that is manufacturing the Transformers Plum Model Kits, they are officially licensed products from Hasbro. So, yeah, no, no worries about getting their products. Try it out. I think you will love it. Okay. Let me check out more chat here. Hello, Dante, Dante, Dante Time. Please don't Kasana Kasini or what do you mean by Kasana Kasini? Okay. Okay, surprise, surprise. It is, yeah, you're right. I, I do say actually a surprise way too much. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay, I'm not going to talk about politics. I try to steer clear uh, in terms of politics. So just to answer Shisui, he just asked me, he or she just asked me this question. Is this a kit that is worth to buy, the SD Wing Gundam? Um, as I mentioned, right, I don't really buy a lot of SD Gundam kit. The reason why I bought this kit was I was attracted to the box art because it really looked like a master grade box art to me. And that's the reason why I actually pick up this product and check out the runner. And then when I checked out the runner together with Big Pete, I noticed that and I can't, and then the camera is not picking up the right colors here, unfortunately, right? But the yellow, it has a tinge of orange in it. And the blue is not the typical deep dark blue that we are used to seeing on a Gunpla model kit. So these two parts together with the amazing box art. And let me show you this one final thing for those of you who just joined the video chat late. Look at the manual. Rectangle manual. I've, ne I've never seen this in a long, long time. It looks like a wine manual to be here, Frank. So it, it's very, a very quirky and interesting product. And that's the reason why I actually bought this kit, right? I haven't built SD kits before, and it's taking me such a long time to get back into building Gunplus. So I thought, yeah, why don't I restart building Gunplus again this year? But let's start with something easy and not too heavy, like the MGEX that's going to kill me or a perfect grid that's going to kill me, right? So that was the reason why I picked up this kit. It looks interesting. I mean, when, when you're buying Gunplus kits, I, I know it's probably not a a luxury for a lot of people but um at, at least for us in asia right um gunpla kits for us to buy gunpla kits in asia it's not that expensive and i think that's one of the uh, the factors to me at least so we, sometimes i'm not that choosy i see something that i think i would like i will just buy them straight away so I, i'm not too worried about about um having to spend too much on a model kit and ending up not liking the actual build process or the actual kit in itself. So yeah, there you go. Okay. So I'm struggling sometimes to build this old SD kit, as I mentioned before. Um, I've never built this old SD kit before, so I'm not very familiar with in terms of where the parts are supposed to go sometimes. So yeah, let me try and say this. There we go. Beam rifle is almost done. This part here goes into here. There we go. Okay, beam rifle. Da, 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 da. I missed out one part, unfortunately, and I need to correct this as well. Let me snap this out.
seems like we have a quite an active chat room today. So thank you guys for contributing. Let me put this back in. Ah, crap. Put on the entire holy cap. There you go. And this guy go back in. The joints are surprisingly tight, you know, given that this is a poly cap heavy kit, as with most of the old Gunpla kits are. I actually kind of miss the decision, you know. I, I'm not sure whether some of you remember this, but there was a time where Gunpla kits actually require screws, and those were the old Master Grade God Gundam, um, the G Gundam series, right? Um, if you have built those Master Grade kits before, you will know that those kits are superb in terms of how uh, tight the joints are and how much fun you can actually have in terms of building the actual kit itself and pose with it without having to worry about anything like a loose ends and whatnot. Because they actually require screws and lug nuts to actually tighten them inside. So that's one of the things that I miss in the old Master Grade Gunpla kit. But unfortunately, Bandai is not making uh, you know, screws as part of the building process anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, looks like I'm almost done. Da, 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 da. This is the shield. And finally, these two goes to... Ah, okay. There you go. So as I mentioned earlier, right, it's challenging. My first time actually trying to build a model kit and at the same time trying to talk to you guys on the chat room. There you go. It also seems to keep popping off. But other than that, we are almost done. I just need to build the display stand, which surprisingly, as I mentioned just now, right? This place then is in clear plastic color, looks amazing, but we didn't get the clear color parts for the eyes. Ah, uh, crap. But then again, this is an old 2011 kit, so I am not too concerned. I think the decals, I forgot to share this with you guys. Older kits tend to have a lot of stickers, so this is no exception. Very, very shiny decals. Uh, I think you're used to this by now, right? So if you compare this old SD kits with the new, SD Gundam World case, you will know that there's so much clear plastic parts going to the new SD Gundam versus something old like this. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of clear plastic parts, unfortunately. Still very, very sticker heavy, but nice detail. Um, not something that I would typically say for a SD Gundam kit, to be very, very frank. The helpful hero just says, Swarm Monsters for sure. Wow, interesting. Okay. Let me see what else. Latest release requires crew was Master Grade Rizal GR. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna be very frank, right? Because there's over hundred plus Master Grade kits. I still have a lot of uh, backlog of Master Grade kits to build myself. And I think the one thing that, other than Gunpla kits, I've actually also bought quite a lot of the um, the high grade Grand Dizer and also Mazinga kits myself. But I'm saving up for that build because I am actually planning to paint those kits in a glossy metallic gunmetal finish. So yeah, so those, those kits are going to stay with me for a while. And of course, today being 31st of January, there is only one day left. I believe Lita in Malaysia, the official bundle distributor, will be announcing what are the new export kit that they will be selling very soon. So do stay tuned. We actually have some of the uh, product announcement ready out. So we should be sharing with you guys what are the new kits that's going to be announced on the Lazada platform that you can buy those new Expo kits for February. Um, how do we actually put this in? Okay, so there's a small pack hole at the bottom. Um, as I mentioned, this being a polycap heavy kit, right? The joints are surprisingly quite sturdy. I really hate polycap kits, but I'm going to give this, this guy an exception because there's actually quite a lot of details. And I really dig the huge 
within that you are seeing here, right? So under one hour we have done with this kit, I actually thought I'm going to finish building this kit in 30 minutes, but surprisingly trying to talk to you guys, looking at the chat room at the same time building this is actually not that simple, right? Um, the next kit that I'm going to be building, let me put this down here. Beam ref looks all right, not too bad. Next kit that I'll be building very soon is the Fumina Hoshino. Maybe I probably will skip this uh, as a live build. This is probably going to take too long. But yeah, I actually bought the Fumina Hoshino figure as standard. Okay. But other than that, this kit, I'm going to spend some time to clean up. The only thing that kind of pisses me off is how the poly cap keeps coming off from the torso. But otherwise, the, you know, the arms, the legs, the, even the head, joints are quite tight. But here it's it's a bit loose. Yeah, that's one of the thing that I hate about kits with poly caps. But then again, once you buy this kit and once you assemble it, I don't think you're gonna be playing or posing with it too much, anyways. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this build session with me. If you guys like this kind of a hangout session, we can call it a ask me anything session, All right? Uh, while we wait for our other video interviews of Gunpla videos from Thailand, Singapore, and Indonesia. So you can look forward to that very, very soon. Oh, I'm just going to spend a last few minutes to answer some of the questions that you guys have here in the channel. The Helpful Hero asks, have you built any of the Virtual Ons or Zoid kits before? I've built the Zoid kits. I love the Zoid kits uh, since I was young. But I've not built any of the Virtual On kits before. I don't recall seeing them in this market here. Ivan Perez asked me, hey, double O Master Grade kits are nearly complete. Soon the Master Grade Virtue will be released. Do you think they will release the uh, Virtue? They also released a Master Grade Tier 2.0. I'm going to be very honest. I highly doubt they're going to release a 2.0 of the XTR anytime soon. Given how um, the XTR is not really that old, right? They will probably give the 2.0 kits that are a lot older, something more than 10, 15, 20 years. That, that's what I think, right? Blazer Ray is waiting for the real grade high new. Yes, I think that is definitely something that's coming up from Bandai because they already have the kits ready. So I'm just going to turn the screen here over to me a little bit. Hey, guys. All right. Um, what else is new? Keep to the two. So maybe you need to change the PC to make it thinner. Actually, I think to make the, the PC a little bit thicker because... It looks like the hole on the torso is a lot bigger than the actual poly cap. So that's actually quite interesting. Blizzary. Okay. Um, Mercenary BDU went to build con 2019. The data was used to determine the expand the premium button states. What suck about the event was the cashless policy. Well, we, I can't comment on that because it's really dependent on the um, distributor in the state vision, I believe is Bluefin, if I'm not mistaken, right? And yes. 2020 was the year that um, I decided to collect more manga um, because we are frank in 2020 and also 2021, we spent like five, six hours every single day in, in Zoom video calls, right? You get so tired and I thought I just needed some time off from the screens. So I've actually been reading classic mangas like Slam Dunk. I think you can see this, Slam Dunk. And also something that is a little bit new which is demon slayer right i am actually at number 17 at the moment um some of the things that i really like about the older mangas are things like um tokyo Go, right surprisingly i watched the anime first before i actually read the manga and i have to say the manga is definitely a lot better there's so much that is not being captured in the anime itself because there's just so many characters and the story itself is so rich in the manga itself but whereas when it comes to demon slayer while the story is amazing the story is amazing it's very captivating the manga art style itself it's not that great it's really bad so you would definitely have a better time watching the anime instead of reading the manga uh, but since i already started reading the manga i thought i'm just gonna finish off with the manga. Uh, what else? I actually have also Attack on Titan. I'm still trying to catch up on my manga, but my resolution for 2021 is actually to read more, spend less time on screen, other than, you know, making videos for you guys. So that's pretty much it, right? So there you have it, folks. This is the new 
let me adjust the camera. So I hope you guys don't get motion sickness. My apologies. I'm just gonna turn this down very, very, very slowly. There you go. SD Wing Gundam, way back in 2011. A surprise decision by Bandai to actually change the logo to a blue color logo because I thought they're gonna just reprint the same box art with the red color logo, but they changed it. Surprise, it looks like a master grade box art to be very frank. Not something I typically see in a SD Gundam kit, but the kit itself looks pretty good. I have to say, I, I'm actually quite happy with how the kit looked like. Yeah, just need to put on the decals, clean up some nut marks. While the gates are not as thin or easy to cut as what we've seen from the recent kits, surprisingly, the nut marks are not that obvious, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, uh, final answers to few questions. Hello, Dan T Time. Waiting for the real great Eva. I love the Eva series, but I've yet to buy them. I'm trying to focus on my backlog. I have a lot of backlogs right now. Um, do you collect Guruni Kenshin 2? I have to say, Samurai X is one of my favorite. I have read, not read, I've watched the entire series and I love the live action movie as well. And for those of you who don't know, there's going to be a new Samurai X movie this year. Uh, was it last year? So the movie is out. So all in all, waiting for that movie to come to this part of the world. Hello, 96786 Victor. Hello, Texas. Good to have some Gunpla fans uh, from the other parts of the world as well. You might want to collect Death Note 2. Story is pretty awesome from to the Paradise City on the Night Train. That's a freaking long username. So um, if I can, to be frank, trying not to do so much. Uh, finally, to Shisui, are you going to custom it? Well, I'm going to be very honest, right? My customization skills are not that great. But as the kits are definitely worth getting if you want to dabble in terms of customization, opening some plot plates and whatnot. But yeah, as with all the old Gunpla kits, a lot of stickers. So yeah, I'm just going to put on the stickers and maybe do a quick key review for you guys on this. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned, I'm, I'm trying to make this build live build sessions not too long. It's right under one hour and six minutes. Thank you to all of you guys for staying on with us. I hope you guys stay safe. If you have any more questions, let me know in the down in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and let me know what you guys are building recently. If I miss any of your questions, I will answer them once this video is published as a separate video on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great weekend. Have a great 2021. And stay safe. Do your gunpla. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Ciao.